hello. This is Mrs. Sellers, the REACH teacher, coming at you today on this Good Friday. It's a beautiful day, so I'm sitting on my back porch and I'm going to read this book called I Love You, The Purplest by uh, Barbara Josie. I Love You, The Purplest. Early in the evening, the brothers and their mama finished supper in the sturdy red cabin and set out to fish. The lake slowed its thrashing to a soft, even beat. The mosquitoes dipped low to the water and the water bugs skittered on top. The moon glowed on one side of the lake while the sun shimmered on the other. This was the time when fishing was best. Max exploded from the cabin, twirling the shovel in front of him. Mama came next, and then Julian. Julian shut the cabin door tightly to keep it safe from burglars and bears. Julian scooped the dirt to find the fattest worms. Max jumped on the shovel and flung dirt into the air until a tangle of worms filled his can. Mama, who has the most worms, he asked. Mama smiled. Max, your can is full of the liveliest worms. And Julian, your can has the juiciest. Max, Julian, and Mama stepped into the small wooden boat. Julian took one oar and Max took the other. Julian planted his blue boots wide and took deep, even strokes. Max braced his red boots against the ribs of the boat and stroked quite quickly through the water. The brothers' faces were hot and they gulped at the air. Julian gasped, Mama, who's the best rower? Mama's eyes grew soft. Why, Julian, you took the deepest strokes and Max, your strokes were fastest. The three fished until the stars sprinkled the sky and water turned dark as night. In the end, Mama caught one fish, Julian caught one fish, and Max caught three. I'm the best fisherman, cried Max, hoisting his fish in the air. Julian pushed his hat brim low on his face. Three fish? What a bountiful fisherman you are, said Mama. And Julian, you're the cleverest. Your fish hid in the weeds, but you waited. When your bobber jerked in the water, you kept your pole high and you reeled in a fine, fat fish. When the fishing and the baths and the stories were done, Mama tucked the brothers into bed. Julian slept in the top bunk and she reached up to kiss him goodnight. Mama, whispered Julian, his hands forming a tunnel around her ear. Who do you love best? Mama thought for a minute and then she whispered, why Julian, I love you the bluest. I love you the color of a dragonfly at the tip of its wing. I love you the color of a cave in its deepest hidden part where grizzly bears and bats curl up until night. The mist of a mountain, the splash of a waterfall, the hush of a whisper. The breath in Julian's chest grew and grew and grew until he couldn't hold it any longer. Then it came out in a long velvety sigh. Mama crouched low to the bunk where Max slept. Max wriggled his finger for Mama to come close. He whispered, Mama, who do you love best? Why, Max, I love you the reddest. I love you the color of the sky before it blazes into night. I love you the color of a leopard's eyes when it prowls through the jungle and the color of a campfire at the edge of the plain. A wide open hug, the swirl of a magic cape, the thunder of a shout. The smile on Max's face grew and grew until his cheeks couldn't hold it in. Then it came out in a big thundery laugh. 
Later in the evening, the brothers and their mama slept, one in the top bunk, glowing like the evening moon, one in the bottom bunk, shimmering like the evening sun, and mama in the big bed, dreaming of the boys she loved best. Can you guess why it's called I Love You the Purplest? I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a wonderful day.